KSN Storm Center. This is a severe weather alert. Good evening. We're interrupting to bring you an update on our severe weather situation. We have two separate tornado warnings in effect now. So we'll go to our Freeman Health First Alert Doppler radar and show you where these are located. So I'm going to zoom in on this. Again, we can really see the hook echo forming here. Uh, some very tight rotation on the storm. We've been watching it as it's been moving from Ottawa County uh, into parts of uh, Newton County and McDonald County. So again, this is a tornado warning. We still have some of the strongest storms happening right now in northeast Oklahoma. That's where we continue to find Find a tornado warning which stretches into parts of Rogers and Mays County. Uh, this will continue until 645 this evening. Notice where we're finding a little bit of a notch here. Uh, whenever we get a line of storms and sometimes see a little notch, it's indicating some inflow. So we have some rotation on radar. Now it has really tightened up in the last two scans, so there is evident uh, that there is some rotation, low level rotation. And right now, this is eight miles northwest of Pineville. So some of the Locations to be impacted, certainly Goodman, uh, Neosho, Fairview, Stella. All right, if you're in Goodman, you do need to take cover now. If you're in the Goodman area, this is a very tight rotation that we are seeing here. I can also see that the winds are wrapping around right now. Possible that this could be on the ground. So if you are in the Goodman area, please take cover. A line of thunderstorms, which are severe, they are producing winds gusting between 60 and 70 miles per hour. Now, predominantly, we're finding severe thunderstorm warnings in Kansas for 60 miles per hour, but higher wind gusts are happening in northeast Oklahoma, up to 70 miles per hour. So with this line of storms, it is mainly a wind threat. Also the size of baseballs too. So something to keep in mind if you will be out of your routine this weekend. Uh, uh, if you're going to be camping or visiting friends, anything like that, make sure you have a plan in place or a portable weather radio, anything like that. Lightning also going to be a big threat too, which is always an issue with anything outdoors. Flooding and tornado threats are low, uh, but not zero. So if we get a heavy thunderstorm, we could see some localized flooding. And we'll have to watch just the tornado threat along some of those boundaries. So it's not going to be widespread. It's going to be on the low side, but still something we will continue to monitor as it can change quickly around here. 22 minutes inside. Sarcoxy and 29 minutes in La Russell. It does look like that uh, in Sarcoxy, storm shelters are open. It does look like there has been an actual report of a tornado now with buildings damaged near the Goodman area. So this was in McDonald County. So again, please take shelter if you are in the path of this storm. Not to mention, it also has the potential for golf ball size hail and 70 mile per hour wind. So very dangerous storm. But we will have areas in our far southeastern locations likely to pick up closer to seven or even eight inches of rainfall. So we'll really closely be watching counties like Newton and McDonald, also Barry and Lawrence, and also Bitten County in northwest Arkansas uh, for the potential for that flash flooding. That plus, we have had numerous flash flood warnings be issued from southwest Missouri into northeast Oklahoma. Uh, also in southeast Kansas, we have had aerial flood warnings. Uh, flash flood warnings because we've seen already in a lot of spots just from the storms today two inches of rainfall and with more rain continuing to fall through the area we'll still likely see an additional one to two inches of rain so certainly street flooding low water crossings uh, be very careful on the roadways out there with large hail I'm going to zoom in on these a little bit more so you can see also these are in an environment where uh, they've already had some tornado warnings on them we've already had some touchdowns too so treat these severe thunder Storm warnings with respect. We are still finding some very strong storms near the Sarcoxy area in parts of Mays and Delaware County, so we are not out of the woods just yet. These are going to continue tracking to the north and east uh, into southwest Missouri. The environment uh, south of I 44 is most favored for seeing some of these stronger storms, so it does look like atmosphere. So showers and thunderstorms then pushed in along a warm front. And when, whenever we have a warm front, we start to get winds out of the south and east. And sometimes that can create some areas of rotation. We had a narrow zone uh, where there was the highest probability for that. So we did find a tornado that touched down this evening in Goodman. These were surveys done by the National Weather Service in Springfield, Missouri. They came out to parts of McDonald and Newton County and rated the Goodman tornado an EF2 with peak wind speeds of 
120 miles per hour. The path length was actually 14.8 miles long, so almost 15 miles, and the width 300 yards. It started in Goodman and then ended about five miles east of Neosho, so ending in Newton County miles Plus. per hour. You can see lots of lightning, so frequent lightning along with heavy downpours. We are seeing rainfall rates of one to two, even some isolated three inches per hour. Now, there is a little bit of good news. We've had some counties be canceled out of the severe thunderstorm watch. Counties that have already seen the storms go through, you're still experiencing a little bit of rain, still some lightning and thunder. But there is a severe thunderstorm watch that continues for all the counties you see in pink until 9 o'clock. Jessica, Eric, back to you. Stacey, thanks so much. Of course, she is keeping us updated with everything that's coming and going with these storms, so she'll be in here all night.